All right, so one of the tools that I want to show you here is called Registry Explorer. I just talked about Registry Dumper in the previous lesson. Of course, I'm going to give you multiple tools again that actually do the same functionality, just so you have a variety of different tool sets. Uh, Registry Dumper, here's a screenshot that was taken uh, taken by me of just a program. Uh, you can see where to download this uh, program from. Uh, it has a uh, github.io site. Uh, it does let you actually uh, support, it actually lets you pr bring in external bookmarks, uh, it lets you bring in external plugins, and I apologize, what I mean by external bookmarks is it lets you save a place in the registry for examination that you may want to go back later. So you don't have to go for the entire hive, you don't have to go for the entire tree structure and where to find things, you can basically mark things and say, hey, I'm going to take a look at this section a little later on. So it does allow for a deep registry an analysis, the name of the program is called Registry Explorer. So I want to talk about some other file techniques, file persistent techniques that are out there as well. Um, you know, some of the techniques are uh, placing uh, applications in temp directories and Windows directories. Uh, some places in Windows directory startup uh, automatically. Uh, there is actually a startup folder in Windows. Anything in that startup folder will start up directly uh, as well. Uh, some people place, uh, some malware authors place things in temp directory and actually just have a startup pointer in the temp directory as well. Um, there are some newer programs, uh, newer operating systems such as on, uh, you know, even on uh, Apple devices, on uh, Mac OS devices, and even on uh, some portions of Windows 10 where you can uh, set a program to start up automatically. Uh, you could do that. Uh, you can start up things uh, automatically under processes and tasks, and uh, you, you could do that as well. Some things to look out for is malware authors will try and always trick you, so they'll try and use a similar ho similar similar name um, that uh, that's uh, you, that may be a legitimate name. For example, look at these names: SVC host uh, versus S. CV host. Uh, the second name is an invalid name. It's not a correct name, but a malware author may use a name like that. So when you see it in your taskbar or you see it running, you're like, oh, this is a normal program. I see this on Windows all the time. Uh, you know, very common Windows process that's running. Um, there's also this process call or this function called process hollowing. What that is is where we launch a valid process in suspended mode. So where so the malware itself is going to launch a valid process, but it's going to suspend that so it doesn't really run. And then what it does is it actually goes ahead and copies malicious program into that same code and restarts it. So that way it looks like we have a legitimate valid process running, but the code, the, the brains behind that valid process is now malicious. Uh, so just another file technique or persistent and technique that's used uh, sometimes to ensure that malware authors stay persistent on a system. All right, I know that's a lot. Hopefully uh, that made sense. Um, and I will see you in the next lesson.